All right. Good morning, everybody. It is what Friday morning, and I've already shot this video once today. Uh, it ended up being about an hour or so long. So if you're going to do this process, please have some time set aside. Uh, I went ahead and erased that, and I'm just going to kind of do the abridged version for you now. So originally, I went through it step by step, was showing you how long everything actually takes. But nobody wants to sit through 20 minutes of nothing going on while I wait for stuff to get done. So, we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is just go through it real quick and kind of show you what you need to do, where you need to get everything. So, let's, let's begin. So, what we're doing today is we're going to put MuOS on the RG Cube XX. It's the only handheld I really haven't put anything custom on that's not really like me i've left it stock but i know that's a ticking time bomb because this is what comes in it this stock sd card right here this is gonna fail on you and i'm sorry about autofocus i still can't get it to stop even when it's off it still does whatever the hell it wants it so ignore it but anyway this these cards right here that come in them they're gonna fail your handheld's not gonna work so as soon as you can, you need to do this type of a process. Now you can get an advanced kind of stock OS version. If you really like that, uh, you'll have to hunt one down. But today we're doing Moo OS. Now you see this happen all the time with these handhelds. And you can see them for sale on places like Mercari and whatnot. People are like, I bought this handheld. It worked for a week. Now it doesn't work. I don't know what's wrong with it. So they're selling it super cheap. They'll say things like it'll power on. The screen will light up, but it stays black that failed so doing this process you could fix that handheld so if you see one for super cheap and that's what's going on with it buy it fix it doing this okay so 32 gig card is trash so here's the things you're going to need i am using this 32 gig for the operating system itself this 128 for all the games this was the 128 that was already in the cube I formatted it, completely erased it, just for you guys, so we're doing this all over. However, in the first video, it was blank. As of now, I've put games back on it, because that itself took 15-20 minutes, and you don't want to sit through that either. So, past that, I have an Anchor SD reader, Type-C and USB, and we're going to be using USB. Plus, I have my external right here. You know what's on this. If you don't have one, once again, stop what you're doing. Get something like this set up before it is way too late. All right. So, first things first, you need to get MuOS downloaded onto your computer. And here we are. So, what you're going to do is you're going to head to muos.dev forward slash release forward slash current forward slash a ah, banana just like that right there a w b a n a n a okay once you're on this page you'll hit download i'm gonna hit from go file ignore the advertisement at the top it'll give you a list of the xx devices that it covers find yours ours is the cube at the bottom we will download this now once it's downloaded you will get this file okay you'll get this guy don't extract it leave it as is put it in a folder on the desktop that way you know where it's at okay let's zoom back out let's go over here now the moo os team they recommend using the raspberry pi imager and not balena etcher and not rufus which i have all those but i also just did a pi video so i have the pi imager in order to get that just Google Raspberry Pi or go to raspberrypi.com. Once you're here, hit software. Once you're on the software page, you'll see this. I use Windows. Download for Windows. Doesn't cost you anything. There you go. You have the Pi Imager. So what you'll do is now that you have MuOS downloaded, you have the Pi Imager ready, you'll open up the Pi Imager. Let me move over here. So we have the Pi Imager open. You'll hit choose from device, you'll hit no filtering, choose operating system. You'll go down, hit use custom, navigate to your MuOS folder, click on the image file. And then right here, it'll say choose storage, right here, your SD card that you've already put in. Of course, FAT32, use a 32 gig, everybody. 
And unless you have a 16, that's fine too. But you'll click that here. It'll pop up and say something like, do you want to do customization options? Just hit no. Then it'll say, it's going to erase everything. Is that cool? Say yes. Hit next. This process right here took like 10 minutes. Okay. I just sat here waiting for it. It took about five, 10 minutes. Once that's done, you'll close that. Once those are done, and we're going to show you, okay, you'll stick the Move OS card in the slot one, which is also labeled TF card one or internal. You'll put your game card in TF two or external, and you're going to power on your device. Now with your device powering on, it's going to go through the initial setup. This once again, is going to take five, 10 minutes. It's going to have you do your time zone, your date, all that stuff. Go ahead and do that. Once you close it, you'll be greeted with pretty much this screen. So let me make sure it read everything I did. Okay, it did. All right, once you agree with the screen, you don't have any thing on the SD card at this point. What you want to do, though, because you want to use the dual car se card setup. So you just want the operating system on this card, and you want your games over here. That way, if you have to update or do anything later, you don't lose all your progress, your saves, your games, and you don't have to redo it. So you can just update using this card by dragging and dropping an update file later on. So here's what we're going to do now. Go to Applications, Task Toolkit. Go all the way down, and you see that Migrate to SD2? Hit that and start that process. Now what that's going to do is that's going to take all the ROMs and BIOS, all those folders, and it's going to move them over to SD2 for you. That process takes another couple minutes to, to complete. Once that's done, once you've completed the migration process, go back over here, shut down your device. Once your device is shut down, set this down, and these this process with MuOS, it takes a while, okay? It really does. It takes a cool minute. Uh, like I said, the video I did originally lasted now over an hour to get this done, including moving games over. So let's take our card number two and let's pop it in and here we go you'll be greeted with this this is what you're gonna see Moo OS and ROMs this is on SD2 so oh it's having trouble reading the card hold on a second really give it a second that's just my work computer being dumb I got too much shit on it not local Okay, there it is. Cubex. All right, you agree with this screen. You got knock that shit off. All right, so you got MuOS ROMs. Go into MuOS BIOS and put your BIOS files in here. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you where to get BIOS. Pay attention to this because this is what you need. Now, one thing, if you want to do Pico 8, there is no Pico 8 folder. So make a Pico 8 folder inside the Pico 8 folder. You need Pico 8 dot dat. Pico 8 64. Alright, in order to get Pico 8, my copy of Pico 8 is in fact paid for. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Pico 8's website. Let me zoom out for you. You go to Pico 8's website. It costs $14.99. Go to this page, make an account, go to download. $14.99, one time fee. You have it for life after that. All the updates, everything. You'll never have to pay again. When you download Pico 8, do not download Windows, Mac, or Linux. Download Raspberry Pi version, okay? Once you have it, it's a quick download. Let me see if I still have my folder over here. I do. You'll get the little Raspberry Pi zip. Unzip it. Open it up. Grab. There it is. Pico 8. Dot that. Pico 8 underscore 64. Take those. Put them in the BIOS folder. Or in the Pico 8 folder inside the BIOS folder that you made. Once you have all your BIOS, everything's moved over. Make sure you're doing that because you're going to need them. ROMs. This will be blank. There will be nothing here. Okay? Now, if you watch the script run as you migrate to SD2, it looks like it just moved everything, but it really didn't. It just kind of moved all those cores that you need into this. Anyway, set up your folders. Okay? I just went ahead and gave them, you know, 
name. So CPS MAME, Neo Geo Pocket Color, abbreviated, the Nintendo Dash, 64DS, GB, GBA, GBC, NES, SNES. Then, of course, Sega. Then we got Dreamcast, Genesis, Saturn, Sony, PS1, and PSP. And then move your games into here. Don't do that. Okay, move your games into here. Now you've done all that. You've added Pico 8. You've flashed the SD card. You've gone through the long, horrible setup process. Oh, no, don't turn, damn it. Yeah, I turned it on. I don't even have the SD card in it. That's because I'm intelligent. You guys know that. Here's the SD card that's needed. Give that a second. So when it comes to moving games over also, all I got to do is plug that in, go to the files I need, move my files over, just drag and drop that shit into the appropriate folder. Let me get this shut down, and I'll put the card back in. Okay. Come here, you. My hands aren't meant for this shit. And I'm five minutes past the time I need to open my front door. Turn on, bitch. There I am in the background, looking good, looking all suave and dipped in butter and glistening and shining. And Y'all know you love me. Oh, I'm holding the damn reset button. Look how smart I am. I may look good, but intelligence-wise... I'm just a networking guy at a poor little internet company. So obviously I'm stupid. No, I'm kidding. All right, so move us is kicking back on. Like I said, this process does take a minute. Set aside at least an hour for this shit. All right, now you got move OS set up, everybody. I know you're going to have problems. I ran through it real quick. I um, apologize. Like I said, I wanted to sit here and do it all with you step by step and show you how long it really took but like i said nobody wants that shit for an hour you don't want to see me sit here for 20 minutes and be like so how's your day going well, nobody want that shit so anyway explore content and here we are here's our folders just as i named them all the way down the list also if you've never played uh pico 8 or anything like that you are missing out these handhelds are completely meant for Pico 8, these one to one 720 by 720 square aspect ratios, these are wonderful for Pico 8. This is absolutely where you want to be, but this is why we're doing this. Portmaster, oh, yeah, I don't have anything set up on Portmaster right now, but this is why I'm moving to Move OS because I do want to get Portmaster set up. I love Portmaster, so this is going to yield nothing. Once it runs through this stupid video and it's like, oh, wait, you actually don't have any ports on here. Yay. So that's what you're going to do, guys. Get it downloaded from MooOS. Make sure you get it from them themselves, the MooOS site. Go get your Raspberry Pi imager. Get Pico 8 while you're at it. Make your own folders. Make sure you make the Pico 8 file or folder inside the BIOS folder. Get everything moved. Grab the Pico 8 dat, Pico 8 underscore 64, that's all you need. Then go back to your ROMs folder and move all your games in. That shit takes forever. So, and here we go. Featured ports, ready to run bangers. Oh, okay. So, all ports. And of course, this is what the show. Not that any of these are actually installed, they shouldn't be. Not for just the, just setting it up, but we're going to look through. Yeah, right. Wow, they've really done a lot with Portmaster since I've messed with it. That's great. Nuh uh. Alright, we're going to try. This better not load. Cool. Alright, that's what I want to see. Alright, I was really hoping that wasn't just on there. I was about to be pissed off. Look, I know I do emulation. And you know, you know, how you get games there. But certain things like Stardew, man, that game is good enough. The guy who made that, he does he deserves my money. And he got it, trust me. I've paid for Stardew Valley countless times. Oh, let's exit that. Alright, so anyway, with Moo OS, like I said, you're gonna get access to Portmaster. You'll get Pico 8 support. Uh, yeah, you it has a big 
big theme library you can go through and download custom themes for it. So I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. I was being lazy, but here it is now. So if you have any questions, if you're in the process of this and I miss something or you get stuck, let me know in the comments. I'll help you out. Uh, I really wish the other video wasn't over an hour long uh, and things went a lot faster. That way I could have just kept that and you could have seen every step-by-step -step process. I'm sorry I have to give you the abridged version. Uh, maybe my guide for this isn't the one you want. There's other guides out there. Just look them up. But this is the quick down and dirty version of it. All right, guys. I should have opened and unlocked my door 10 minutes ago. So I'm getting the hell off of here. Uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully the next video is the NES console build for the Raspberry Pi 3 I got. I'd love to do that video with you guys. Can't wait to do it. We'll check it out together. I'll see you next time.